Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Does your car start and sound like this? Well, it's most likely because your auto tensioner or some of the bearings uh, in the pulley is already busted or the belt is gone. So that's what we are going to change. Alright, so let's see. Right off the bat, we have the um, aircon belt. This is a 6PK2563 if I remember correctly. Alright, that's the part number. And then uh, for the auto tensioner and the pulleys, I did not get the originals. I get an aftermarket brand, a brand that I can't actually spell. Okay, so it comes in one set of the auto tensioner, two bolts and two pulleys. Okay. And two covers. All right. So the space is tight, so it's going to be very difficult for me to show you how is it being done. So this is a diagram that I've drawn up um, based on what I see. It's not up to scale or in the correct position, but yeah, you get an idea. So we'll be changing either idling pulley one, idling pulley two, and the tensioner. These three items here. All right. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to put a size 17 mm. Uh, a spanner over here and then we will need to push it towards the car to loosen the belt tension and we will remove the belt then after that we will remove the idling pulley which is held on by one bolt and this one is held on by one bolt and this is held on by two bolts alright okay so I'm going to try to do this from the top only I don't feel like going down to the bottom to do this so I'll be removing this, um, just one bolt here, and then I'll move it aside so that I got more space over here to assess the bolts. All right, all right, so now that we have actually removed everything, so just a quick tip when you're removing the tensioner here. Alright, you will notice that the bolt hole over here is actually blocked by this metal piece. So, what you can do is you can actually put the spanner here, push it, and then there's a hole here where you can actually jam a, a nail in and keep it locked over there. Then you have access to this directly. Or, what I did was I used one of these flexible spanners and I got into it. Then, at that angle like that, I opened it. It wasn't too hard. So, these are held by size 12 and these are held by size 14. No, sorry, these are held by size 16. Alright, that means the two idler pulleys, these two idler pulleys are held by size 16 mm. And this is held by size 14 mm. Sorry, 12 mm. Alright, so let's do a little bit of a comparison between the old and new. Looks similar. Okay, so this one have the pin over here at the moment. So after installation, I'll remove the pin. Okay, looks the same. Seems to be of the same height. Seems 
same height same spec i assume this 383 eight, three here and the 383 here is the spring tension it looks similar okay so as i can see here there's no play here but not sure if you can hear it there is actually a bit of play and this this is moving around this one doesn't do that this one does these two pulleys seems to be okay but since i've already removed it i'm changing them anyway okay let's look at the belt so this is the new belt pretty nice and fluffy and this is the old belt as you can see it's cracked all over the place here you can see cracks more cracks more cracks okay so this belt is better not to use anymore and this is the original belt that came with the car since day one which is used for about 220,000 220,000 kilometers so it's stated here is a Mitsuboshi 6PK2563 the new one is a I, I, I don't think it's a original but right I can't tell the, the difference all right so it's stated here Mitsubishi genuine parts 6PK2563 all right it's the same length all right so time to install it back okay okay so one thing i noticed about the old idling pulley is that if you can see the grease are already coming out from the bearing whereas the new one is nicely sealed all right and since all these things are going to go back in let's get them washed okay so i was not able to show you the other two but this one is on top here so it's easier to show you so what you need to do is after you clean all this uh, shiny shiny yeah okay so the one with the teeth will be on the back and then the boat and the washer okay so let me position the camera Alright, so it has been one week since the belt tensioner has been replaced. So far, everything is working fine. Um, yeah, a couple of things I would like to mention. So, when you are actually putting the belt in, alright, this belt, you need to actually um, follow the diagram that I showed earlier and leave it loose on this side. Then what you do is you will use a 16mm uh, spanner over here move it upwards here move it towards the car so that the belt loosens and you can slot it inside here all right okay so that's the end of this diy uh okay let's talk a bit about cost 
okay the belt cost me about 90 uh about 90 plus ringgit so that's about 20 plus us dollars and then the pulley set both the idling pulley and the auto tensioner pulley that cost about 220 ringgit so that's about 50 us dollars uh 55 years 50 yeah, about 55 us dollars uh these are not originals um mainly because the original auto tensioner itself is quite pricey and i would like to give this a try okay i mean it's not that expensive so if it fails i will just change it now a couple of things that um that came out in the facebook that I, uh, facebook group that i participated in so how do you know when your your belt needs to change so the easiest way is you inspect it from here all right from here just shine a light to it and if you see any cracks even a minor crack one small minor crack it's time to change the belt and if you hear any weird um, high pitch shrieking then it's time to change the belt as well all right now um, if you hear bearing grinding or metal grinding noise then it's most likely one of the bearings in this area that requires changing so it could be the auto tensioner pulley it could be the idler pulley it could be any of these other pulleys so a bit hard to troubleshoot on that but um yeah okay so time it takes for this diy <laughs> all right it should take no longer than one hour because it's only four bolts one two and then two more for the auto tensioner but because uh, I don't have the correct tool to actually um, push this upward so that I can loosen the belt enough to slot it in it took me another three hours for that okay so yeah that requires a lot of strength maybe if you have more strength you'll be faster than me um, yeah I guess that's the end of the video um, as usual if you like this video hit the like button if you dislike it you can always hit that button but leave us a comment uh, down below on how we can improve further all right and if you have not done so please hit subscribe we are almost at 1000 thank you so much to those who have already subscribed and hit the bell button so you get notified on future uploads all right see ya